All around the world, music audiences have been stunned and enraptured by the Beatles' music. So why, you may ask, am I at a baseball field? Well, that's a very good question. The Beatles play baseball. That's right. In 1966, after the release of Rubber Soul, the Beatles spent six million dollars on buying their own private baseball field. Ah, stunning, isn't it? Well, where do you see them play? That's good. That's really big like that. Nice. I've seen you keeping the shoulder lower. What are the Beatles doing playing baseball? Well, it's, uh, it's quite obvious, we love baseball. Always love baseball. Always love it, yeah. People are always telling us, you know, you should just start playing music. It's what you do best. And then I say, well, sorry, we're playing baseball. And then they say, but play music. And I say, but we're playing baseball. And that's actually how we got to the name, the Beatles. Can you beat the sound of a bat hitting a ball going 400 feet? Is that, is that better than the sound of a strum of a guitar or the beat of a drum? Well, that's not me for, for me to decide. Sorry. I guess it's for us to decide the musicians, isn't it? You're the musicians. You're all the dreamers. Thank you. Hey, but without you, we couldn't have any dreams. Without your mind working in the dream world and my worm and all those wingled dream world, we wouldn't have dreams now, would we? We always want to be evolving as a band. And but as, as a team. As a team, because that's what we are. A band is a team. In essence, sport is Beatles music. Essentially. Well, that could be said by someone, of course. Yogi so, Berra, known for what he says, you know, he's always got these Yogi Berraisms. Mm -hmm. One of my favourite ones is baseball is 90% mental, the other half is music. This is Hello, TV Land. Hello, BBC. Hello, what is the Beatles here playing baseball? What's new? Oh, well, I used to make a joke, I'd say, my only lady for me is Lady Baseball. But it is true, there is a lady I'm interested in. Lady Madonna? Oh, is that right? Well, you just let me pull. I want to tell a story here. The future of baseball lies in the Asians. You're going to see in a couple of you. What was that? What was that gesture? What? You were making a gesture and I don't see anybody out there. You couldn't have possibly been doing signs to anybody. There's no one out there. You were making a gesture to me that was mean. No, this was we're number one. Number one team. In your mouth? Number one in your mouth? Yes, it ta we taste good. Now go ahead, go on with this, um, this, uh... Yoko, you matter. Yo! Are you alright, Paul? Oh no, I seem to have got stuck a peanut. Peanut to my throat. Oh, from baseball. From That's baseball. quite a common baseball yeah, it's snack. From baseball. Oh, oh yeah, ah, tell you something. I, I think you'll understand. One baseball says that something. I want a whole baseball team! All of our music basically has been about it baseball. It comes from baseball. It always a baseball originated. It's always got baseball in George, it. George Martin made us change most of the lyrics. That's the problem because he thought of songs about. Strawberry fields forever. Baseball fields. Forever. It's forever. natural right there. The entire the help album initially was called Hell. You know, I'm you, I you, need help. I'm on third base. Get me home. Get I me need home. Help. 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 I've got a score. You say hello. I say baseball. Hello, baseball, baseball, baseball. Hello, baseball. I don't know why you say hello. I say baseball. It's a pleasure playing baseball with you guys. You did quite well. Yeah, we had fun with you, definitely. Lots of fun. Well, You've heard it here. Baseball. Music? Beatles? Which one is it? Why don't you decide? I'm Oliver Welsh, reporting for BBC News.